My guest today is Joe Guadagno. Joe, how are you? I'm doing wonderful, David. How are you? I'm doing great. I heard you had a music group meeting tonight, and you were the guest speaker. <laughs> yeah, I just I just spoke at the Twin Cities Dynamic User Group. Excellent. Twenty minutes ago. Excellent. What it went well? Yeah, I thought it did. No one left that I can tell. Yeah, <laughs> that's a wonderful thing about virtual <laughs> presentations. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about uh, leadership because you're well, you're a, a manager at a large mortgage company, right? Yeah. And um, or you know your IT manager. And uh, uh, first, let me ask you this: Is uh, management and leadership are those synonyms? No, definitely not. We talk about that. We actually firmly believe that the, we actually. Using the word manager and manager is severely frowned upon our organism. Oh, what do you use? Leader. Like is my that your official title? title. My official title is director. I have multiple teams underneath. Hmm. Uh, but you go off from being a doer or team member. Uh, go from a team member to a team lead. Team leader. Vice President, etc. Proverbial gene. But to me, the biggest difference between leadership is there's there's a a meme that goes around. Manager is sitting in the cart, cracking the whip. Employees to board. Mm-hmm. For a leadership, for a leader, you're really leading. So in that same metaphor, you're in front, helping the team pull harder wrong. Uh, a lot. So, from a leadership standpoint, are more focused on the team and growing the team, growing the team members, getting to work. The dynamics of a manager is typically, David, you need to do this TPS report by this date. <laughs> You're managing the individual task for a person, opposed to trying to grow a person. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. So uh, I, I don't totally what you see. I think a lot of that is empowering people to be better versions of themselves, to help them to learn how to do their own job as opposed to just uh, give them step-by-step instructions. Yep. Um, now, uh, I, people aren't born with leadership skills. Uh, is, or are they? Are they born leaders? Or is this a muscle that we can exercise and grow? Uh, so I don't... You can kind of sort of be taught to be a leader. I think some people are really okay. a certain chromosome or a certain gene or a certain type of person. You have so many different personalities right. and behavioral tests out there that can, you know, predict some of these. But there are certain things that you know make a make a person empathy, compassion, wanting to grow. Thinking about others before yourself. Those are some of the a person, a leader. I think it's one of the reasons why public speaking I always want to help people. I actually went to yeah. school to become a high school math teacher. I did not know this. Yeah. And we've known each other for like 15 years now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I went to school to become a high school math teacher and I dropped out after two years because I didn't didn't appreciate college. Mm-hmm. Started working at a computer store. Technology but got into public speaking because I wanted to teach I yeah. have a philosophy in life to live this world better than it was when you I have a very similar philosophy. <laughs> so and teaching does that. And I think some of that teaching and some of that wanting to help what me me at least strong okay uh, now would, if you're leading you have to have somebody to lead uh, tell me about uh, uh, how does this impact the team and how do you assemble your team <laughs> um, so each team 
unique. They're like in the families. I have five teams under me. You know, some of the teams came pre-existing. When I build teams, I look for a couple. Every team needs a, a mixture. And I'm talking about technology teams, teams of software. Typically, uh, for teams responsible for building product. And those yeah. teams in our world are generally product of some business analyst, software, over that. So I look for different skills depending on the role. Some of the some of the basics that across the board for any person is your ability to talk, communicate. Some people do well talking. Some do. You have to weigh some of the skills mm. across the board. Like you might have a person who Typically an introvert, but he can be one buffer engineer. You have to weigh whether those that software skill more beneficial than the ability to play along with others, which sometimes doesn't happen. We look for um, I, I'm painfully of, aware of that fact. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and it happens a lot in the software engineering field. Software. Or introverts trouble different sides of the brain. Right. Well, you don't have the softer feel, the ability to keep the Olympic passion, those kind. Of so I look for people that have skills. Are and you looking to grow them into a leadership role? I try to grow everyone into the next better person. They don't try to grow a leader. Because not everyone wants it. Sure. Not everyone can be a leader. Okay. So I try to find out what, <laughs> I always like to say, what a person wants to be when they grow up. Even if they're you know, our age, in their 30s, what they want to be when they grow up. So I try to I try to find that by getting to know. I do one on one. The rest of five teams that must be a lot. Yeah, especially when you have fifty five people in a month. It's, but to me, it's important to get to know. So when you build those relationships, I find I get to know the person more intimate, or you know, not necessarily professional. How their spouse is, is dogs to, you know, checking up on. Hey, I remember when we talked last year. And people understand that you can, about them that you're just not a person on a spreadsheet. Resource. Resource. I was just going to use that painful word. Which it's which is <laughs> another word that's banned from. The only time you're allowed to. Talk. Hardware, servers. Right. Uh, when you start caring for people, we're showing that you can a lot more at what you can endure more. But uh, people feel more comfortable. Someone cares about or shares in the same mission. We're getting people to buy in. Or someone I'm hiring, I'm not looking. She's sharp, the best, or the best person designing. I, you know, framework. It's someone that can get along. What my team teams. Okay. Yeah, it seems like you'd have lower turnover if you uh, took that approach to both hiring and mm -hmm. building relationships with the folks that are working for and with you. Yeah, in the uh, in the four years I had set it started off with I had fifty five people in four years. Really, I think we've had two people quit over that time. 
or lead the team or that level. You know, they're... That is amazing. Uh, as you know, this industry has very high turnover. People tend to change jobs every two or three years. So I think less than three years is the average. Yep. I mean, um, we're a little bit different at Rocket Mortgage. Higher, higher retail. Fifteen, <laughs> and we've only really been impressive. in business for thirty years. Very impressive. Um, a lot of what you're talking about has to do with culture, the the, uh, the way you communicate with each other, um, uh, the language that you use. T talk a little about the culture that you're trying to build. So, you know, at Rocket Mortgage, which is you know not different than you know we have a we have. We have what we call is basically philosophy or words. And we try to we try to live every day. But it's more than just I think it's a little bit too trying to build a, a friendly just not a box. I mean, the time. Five o'clock is the five o'clock is punch on the clock. Building a cohesive group of people with shared mission. So, I rock it with is those folks. They try to find people that, and not only share those philosophy, some additional, or want to leave this planet better than it was. The uh, Boy Scout. Keep things better than they were. Right. You got be kind to treat people with basically a typical, perfect. I think a lot of personal helps to bring them. On my teams, we joke around a lot. You know, known as the thing of bad jokes, quote unquote. Got to be so bad. That's you. Well, yeah, they started calling him Joe Joe. <laughs> it's a new level. We do lots of fun things, right? Though COVID first started, working remote, trying to figure out we would. Everyone dressed up in costume, hmm. chair, their teams or Zooms background, different. Uh, stuff like that. And just the, the constant, or not constant, trying to keep things, we, we all live in a world, we think gotta be done today as cheap as possible, with as few people in it versus possible. And it, it bears down on people. Everyone wants to. That's my experience. We, I, yeah, I try to levitate. Situation. Things are broken. There's an outage. People are using, scrambling, circling the way. I try to throw a joke in there. Light in the middle of the circle. It's not, you know, hitting that point. Just gonna. Can you speak? A lot of, oh, go ahead. Go ahead, I was just say a lot of things like that kind of all together. One place like where you want. Yeah. Oh, are you guys, um, is your team back in, in the office in person yet? Uh, yes and no. My team itself, no. Okay. It's with COVID, we have a lot of people. Oh, yeah. We're going to be virtual in meetings anyway. Makes sense. You, uh, you're, you're actually on the cutting edge of that since you live in far away from Detroit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I started, uh, I started when first fully remote. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you, uh, tell me, talk a little bit about uh, when you identify someone with leadership potential, someone with speed leadership. Uh, how do you cultivate that? How do you grow them? Sure. So, a couple of things to, a uh, couple of things you start to know 
characters. One is they're generally the one talking. Or just casual. They're the one. We call it raising the level where, hey, I noticed this is wrong. Mm -hmm. The ones that are outside of the. Well, I know we do things, A, B. What happens if we want A, to D, and we skipped out? So, things like that. So what I try to do when I start seeing that, why not that? Mm -hmm. You know, and sometimes. People actually don't even realize they're doing leader. Or they want to be in They find out what they're. Where, like I said before, they do that and start looking that need to be how they work. Yeah. Inclusive in discussion. Those, they, those are definitely yeah. muscles you can build there. Most people are not born with great communication skills or knowing what's inclusive and what's not. Correct. Correct. It's definitely something everyone needs. I even a rock eight years but I don't probably think communication is still a part. You're always learning things to say things. You know, each person is a different person. Like, yeah, I know with you and I, we know a while, and I know certain things I can say to you, and certain things I can't say. There are some of my friends or coworkers that I can bow, quote unquote, language with. <laughs> Others I can't. There's people. I don't remember you, know you ever that. using foul language. And you're a New Yorker. <laughs> I know. That's because I know you. Because you don't do it, so I don't do it with you. Uh, but. I, I really don't know what the f you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so each person likes to be talked to differently. Finding out that and growing that, handling the TPS reports and but being able to read people, feel that. Yeah. What I mean by read people. People are having a yeah. When people uh, want to be talked to, when people want people looking for looking for those. Yeah, what I've people. what I've discovered is uh, I think this is why you and I get along so much because so much of what you say resonates with me and what I strive to do. And I think I, I would add one thing to that is that yeah, you definitely want to connect with people and have that empathy for them. But you want to do it sincerely, um, just uh, sort of, you know, insincere empathy is like insincere praise. It really carries no weight at all, and so that's more of a kick to the lower region. Yeah, and it's 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 sort of empty, and yep. sometimes it can cause uh, it can actually damage your relationship, and so that's uh, I mean it's a hard thing to do when you've got fifty people, but um, yeah, it's important. It definitely gets hurt. The other thing that really is to with leader, something I that it teach. Knowing when to praise, to praise some, knowing praise. Hmm. Some people like the spot. Some people don't. Some people hmm. just a quick thank you right. side in a Teams chat where other people want. A, you know, an award and be walked down the aisle. Oh, this person did great, blah, blah, blah. Hailing that. Uh, and that goes to back to getting to know. Yeah. Some people see uh, uh, public recognition as a punishment. Yeah. <laughs> Others see it as a reward. Uh, excellent. Uh, well, this is really good stuff. I'm, uh, I just I think we'll wrap it up here. But before we do, are you doing any more speaking? You have anything coming up? Ah, uh, yeah. I actually just wrote a blog post about it last night. Oh. Last night in our time. I got uh, five or six speaking gigs for the rest of the speaking. Virtually next week in India for 
a little bit over a week and a half doing wow. five city tour, mm-hmm. beginning in five different cities. And I'll be going to Tech Bash in the Poconos, and to Czech Republic to speak in Prague. Oh, what a great, and beautiful city, Prague. I've heard great things. Then I come home for a couple of weeks and then city that I know both of us have been to and enjoyed Copenhagen. I remember the time I you and I were in Copenhagen. You were riding December. scooters all around the city. Riding scooters in the uh, Viking lounge where you tried to kill me. I was looking at our text messages the other day. The Viking lounge was in uh, 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 was Stockholm. In Stockholm. Yeah. <laughs> That's where I tried to kill you. That was part of the trip. <laughs> yes. And then I uh, come home and wrap it up. Have intersection. Christmas holiday. Oh my goodness, you are a uh, traveling fool. Two, two yeah, separate this... trips to Europe and one to India. Is that what I'm reading yep. here? Yep. Wow. It's, uh, it's going to be a busy quarter, I guess. You know, went from Easter famine, not a lot of yeah. in person, to floodgates open. Uh, it sounds like a lot of fun, and uh, I appreciate your busy schedule spending time with me. No worries. Thanks for accommodating the schedule, Chief. All right. Thanks a lot. I already said technology and friends. You want to say it differently?